everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Jennifer and today we are playing with Tom Ford eyeshadows. I have metallic denim and the rose prisme. I'm gonna use the metallic denim today, but I'm gonna swatch the rose prisme for you as well. Also, I have another Tom Ford product that I think is similar to the metallic denim. We're gonna find out that I will compare it to. So if you're interested in seeing that, just stay tuned. Uh, hair is back, eyebrows are on. I have the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate Foundation on in 1.3. We're gonna use the Terra Bronzer today. I think that's gonna look best. Yeah, that definitely looks cool toned to me. Okay, so I have two um, Tom Ford bronzers. I have Gold Dust and Terra. Terra is the one that I wear you know, pretty much all the time. It's a really good bronzer for me. If you are pale skinned and you like a cool bronzer, this is my absolute favorite. The formula is good. It's really smooth, works really well. It's not um, overly pigmented. It's not overly bronze. So if you like a very bronze look, it's not gonna be your thing. Um, you can definitely build it up and you can also use it as more of like a contour and then put like a bronze shade over it. Um, lots of people have, you know, different steps to their bronzer routine and use something like this and then go in with something bronzier on top of it. And that's totally whatever, you know, you like to do. Okay, blush. We are gonna use the shade and illuminate blush. Sorry that it's not out yet. I don't know what to tell you. It was supposed to be out at the beginning of August. Well, first it was supposed to be out like end of June, then it was the beginning of August. I don't know what's happening. I really don't. Um, <laughs> I don't. So this is the KZO2 Chikahoto brush. I'm using uh, Brazen Rose. I'm gonna mix the shades today. Yeah, I mean, and I haven't heard anything. Like I haven't heard an, up an update, nothing. So I don't know. I don't know what's happening. It's very strange, but I will say, you know, I get it if by the time these come out, you're just blushed out and you don't want to get them. I mean, I would get that, but it is a really beautiful formula. I think the shades are very pretty. I think you did a really good job with it. I don't, <laughs> could not for the life of me understand what's happening. It could be a supply chain issue. I mean, I guess that's a possibility. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what's going on over there. Um, all right, so we're also gonna take moving things around here. This is the Mood Light. It's a powder duo, skin illuminating duo. And we're gonna take the highlighting shade. The, well, they're both like highlighting, but I'm gonna use the lighter shade. Just put this up here. I like this for a very light, um, subdued highlight. Okay, so we've got foundation on, we've got blush on, bronzer, a little bit of highlight. Let's move to swatches. So let's actually swatch the Rose Prisme first, just so you guys can see it. I will have a video with this. It's really pretty. Um, it's not really my color story. It's not the one that I would gravitate to, but I think it's gonna look nice on the eye. I hope it will look nice on the eye. Definitely looks like different shades almost of rose. Very pretty, uh, light look. And then we have, um, and before I swatch it, I'll show you the uh, metallic denim. My understanding is this is the wet dry formula and that these can be used to be more intense, both these quads. And so I will use a little bit of um, the wet application with metallic denim today so we can see that. All right, so let's take a look at the Rose Prisme. Yes, definitely a light color story. If you hear trick trotting around, that's my dog, Bailey. He decided he didn't wanna be on the bed. I don't know why. And cried until he was let off the bed. And now he's just sort of trick trotting around. That is Rose Prisme. Very pretty. I mean, like I said, it's light though. This is the, the deepest shade in it. That doesn't mean it's gonna be bad. It just means that it's gonna be, you know, a light color story. Okay, and then the metallic denim, 
which looks to me very different <laughs> from Rose Prisme. Um, the first shade is basically a topper. Oh, that's a pretty shade. Now, you know, the shade I'm going to want, like I'm going to gravitate to is the blues, which is the reason I, you know, immediately wanted this palette the minute I saw it. Okay. That's metallic denim. So what we'll do, um, we'll put this on as sort of like the transition color. We'll put this on as like the transition color. We'll put this on the eyelid because it's the most outstanding shade. Don't get me wrong. I think we could do lots of different looks with this. Um, and we'll try to use this as more of like an accent, the deep black. It's, it's like a gray with sparkle. It looks very pretty. It also looks to me like it's going to have fallout, but you know, we'll see. All right, let me pull you in a little bit closer before we start the eye look. I do have some swatches to compare this to in another Tom Ford, but we'll get to that. Let's see. I have one eyebrow doing weird things today. I don't know. I don't know what, the, I don't know what that's about. I'm like, really? It's okay. Why? Just why? You have days like that where you just your brows don't work? That's why I want to get them microbladed. September 10th, I think is my date that I'm going to get them done. You'll get to see them in all their glory. They're going to look really ridiculous at first, but that's just how it goes. All right, so we're going to take the classic crease brush. We're going to use that really pretty taupey, shimmery shade. There is no matte in here. Um, so if you're looking for a matte, there isn't one. That's not necessarily a problem um, unless you like, you know, being able to ground something um, in a matte shade. And if you do, you can absolutely pull a matte out of practically any, um, you know, formula, quad, palette that would work with this. I would choose something pretty neutral, but you could do whatever you wanted. Uh, I am going above the crease here a little bit and just going back and forth. You can see for yourself, um, because what I'm doing is I want to kind of create a little bit of space more space for the blue and i want when i put the blue on the lid i'm going to put the blue all the way up into the crease I want this shade to show a little bit because i really like the shade and i think it's pretty all on its own uh and if i just put it directly in the crease it's going to disappear i think under that blue so just going back and forth And then swirling back and forth. Um, somebody asked me, someone DM'd me about like what my secret was to getting everything blended so well and that when she did it, it didn't blend really well. Uh, I do spend a lot of time blending that I cut out of the videos. I have mentioned that before, but I should continue to mention it because I don't want you guys to think that this is all the blending that I do that you see. I do do more blending, but I do cut it out of the videos because it's, frankly, it's boring. Uh, I go in with different brushes, usually a Wayne Goss 03. Then I go in with some like um, less fluffy brushes and I blend quite a bit. So if, if you feel like you're not getting the blending that you want, blend more, <laughs> just blend more. You'll find that um, a lot of times it just takes a lot of blending, frankly, to get what it is you want. I don't know. I mean, I, that's all there is to it. Uh, and you know, a better product should blend easier, but, but I mean, you know, it, it even a good product takes a while to blend. We're going to take that topper shade and I'm just going to put it up here in the brow area. It actually is a very pretty shimmery shade, pretty shimmery shade. It is, um, it doesn't have a ton of opacity, but it's got enough that I think it'll work here in the brow area just to give this some lightness. And there's no rule that you have to use something light up into your brow. You can use the, a deep shade all into your brow. This is just a look, this is something that's done to sort of accentuate the brow and keep it light, keep your um, eye looking up. 
again, you can put shades wherever you like them. It just, it creates a, a different kind of dimension or a different type of look, depending on whether you use a deep shade, dark shade, or a light shade. Let's use a dense brush to pack this on, this blue, um, because I have a feeling, and I may be wrong, but I have a feeling that this is going to be, um, yeah, I'll use my KZ. Um, this is a soft brush, but it's pretty dense. This is a KZ07 brush. It's a very little brush. I love the KZ series. I think they are really, really good. I'm still on the hunt for KZ01, but I'll get there eventually. And let's use this blue shade. And let's just use this all over the lid. And I will bring it up into the crease. Yeah, that goes on very well. And I'm just bringing it all the way up into the natural crease of my eye. We'll do the same on the other side. And then what I will do, there we go, is I will wet my brush and let's try it wet and see what happens. So the way I like to do this is I like to sort of wet my brush and then, and then I use like a corner of the, the palette. Like I don't dip right into the middle of it. I know it doesn't really matter, but I like to kind of go like in a corner of it. So like, I know that's the area that I've wet and then I can use that like little corner. Shouldn't really matter, but to me, I'm always like, well, for some reason, if it hardens the, the pan or something, I have the rest of it. It's my own, you know, absurdity, I'm sure. But let's see. Yeah, it definitely intensifies it. You get more of that metallic look instead of a shimmery look. Do you see what I mean? Okay, let's do a little more on the other eye. Balance it out. Yes, this is very pretty. This is absolutely something that I would buy if i didn't have the channel i would have bought this no question uh i don't think i would have bought the the rose prisme to be honest with you i don't tend to go for that color story so i don't think i would have bought it it's not that it's not pretty and i you know i might end up really really liking it but in you know before i did the channel uh i both i mostly went with shades that were either quote neutrals, so browns and blacks and that kind of thing, or blues and greens. It's just what I like. So, I mean, you know, personal preference. Although I've really started to like purples lately, which is an interesting turn of events. Okay, so that's what it looks like. You saw it looked like dry. That's what it looks like wet on top. I think you can tell there's definitely an intensification. Uh, there's definitely a more intense look with it wet. So we're gonna wait a couple of minutes, dry down before I put the black shade on or try to put the black shade on. You don't have to do that. Um, I always feel like it's to get the best out of the shadows, give them a moment to sort of set down, to set in if you're putting them on wet, just in case things are gonna move around. I'm filming this in the morning before I get ready for work and I'm drinking my orange juice and I drink, I am one of those terrible people. I only drink freshly squeezed orange juice. I won't drink any other <laughs> type of orange juice. I won't, like I don't like it. People have offered me like, would you like some? I was like, no, no. Is it freshly squeezed? I, I know, and I know it's in incredibly privileged and obnoxious. I mean, I'm, I'm totally aware, but I don't like, like if you go to the grocery store and pick up orange juice, it doesn't taste like orange juice. It tastes like sugar. I, I don't know. Like, I'm like, that is not orange juice. I don't know what that is, but, but I do love freshly squeezed orange juice. In fact, I have a juicer that I use, um, all the time. I just, my sister got it for me and it's probably my favorite thing ever. <laughs> just love, I love that thing. I never, I never thought I'd be one of those people, but I am, I am one of those people. Okay. Uh, let's use a, a very small, in fact, I, I know what I'll use. I'll use, this is the uh, one I use for the brows. It's a Chickahoto 
uh, F07 brush. It's a very small crease brush, rounded brush, domed brush. And I'm gonna use that for the black. Now, let's see how much fallout we get. I don't know. I mean, I actually didn't get a lot of fallout with the blue when I put it on dry, if any, a little bit, very little. Um, let's try this, this dry first. Okay, I mean, not so far. Nope. Very intense shade. Like, okay, a little bit of fallout there. I would just say, if you're using these shades, expect some fallout. I mean, it's, you know, a black sparkly shade, so I don't think you're gonna get away with not having some, okay. Wow, that's an intense look. I will say that. Very intense. Okay. I'm gonna blend it a little. That black kind of blended into the blue because the blue is so intense. You don't see much difference with the black over that blue. It's interesting. I mean, it definitely intensified it, but the blue is so deep um, because I put it on wet that you don't see a huge difference between the two shades. Now you see the fallout after I blended it, but I'll clean that up. Um, okay, so let me clean it up actually first, and then I'm gonna I'm gonna use the black wet as a liner, and we'll see how that works. All right, so let's spray. Let's use it's a Refer 03 brush, tiny little brush. I think this is gonna be a really pretty um, quad to use. Wow, that's intense, okay. I'm gonna use the black just on the outer corner and then I'll use the blue. As I was saying before I got like thrown off by how deep that black is, I think this is gonna be a really pretty, I'm just going over the uh, upper lash line with it. I think this is gonna be a really pretty um, quint to use for the holidays. Like I could see this sparkly black as like a really intense eye look for the holidays, I think it would be stunning. All right, I'm gonna use the blue. I'm not gonna wet it. I'm just gonna use it to go over this a little on the lower lash line. Yeah, that's an intense look, no doubt, but it's beautiful. I mean, it's really nice. Um, all right, so I'm gonna take a little bit of what I'm considering the topper shade that like goldy shade and I'm just gonna put like the tiniest amount on the lid and I'm not gonna buff it in and then I'll show you it's I have to say I love this more than I thought I mean I knew I was gonna like it because of the colors but wow come on That is stunning. It's just beautiful. This is what Tom Ford used to be. Sorry. It's not that, I mean, obviously it's what Tom Ford is now. It's just lately, anyway, I won't get into it. <laughs> so this is good. This is a really good quad. Okay, let me, um, let me curl my lashes, put on some mascara. And then we'll figure out a shade. I, I think I know what shade of lipstick I want to go with this. I think I want to keep it pretty neutral, but let me curl my lashes and put on mascara first. Okay, so we've got mascara on. I I said this about the Nightbird, the Dior Nightbird, and I'm gonna say about this. I absolutely love this. Now there are some similarities between those two, blues, greens, that kind of thing. But this is a really intense, beautiful, quad i will say that of course it's more uh intense because i use that blue wet and then i use the black wet for liner but i i do think it would look you know stunning without it being intensified but i i do think it looks really pretty like this um a great in my opinion great holiday look a great evening out look it's gonna probably be a little intense intense on my zoom calls today but you know what they're just gonna have to deal uh, 
So I'm gonna pair it with Sugar Glider. Sugar Glider is a shade from Tom Ford that I've used for quite some time. It's a cool shade. It, it has almost like a, a lilac-y kind of shade, but when you put it on the lips, it just looks more like a shimmer on me. So we'll put that on and uh, finish up the look, and then I'll show you some swatches of another Tom Ford that I think may have at least a similar color story to um, the denim. Okay, Sugar Glider is on. Sometimes I use this with um, like a brownier pencil. I think for now I'm just gonna leave it. It does have this like lilac-y kind of shade, but unlike the um, 004 pencil that I use from Dior, it doesn't have a gray undertone on me. It, it just is more of like a light pink. And as it settles into my face, frankly, throughout the day, it just kind of gives like a sparkle, which I do like. Uh, I like like something like this when I do a strong eye. Natasha Denona's I Need a Nudes are also great. There's a bunch of shades in there that I think work really well. I just decided to go with this one because, you know, Tom Ford and using Tom Ford. So let's talk about the um, eyeshadows that I think are similar to this metallic denim. So I don't have anything in my um, Tom Ford collection that's a quint that looks exactly like this. I think that's why a lot of us were excited. I do have one that's a green one from many, many years ago, Sahara Haze, I think it is, that has a similar intensity, but it's green. I have one um, that is like a grays, and I've forgotten the name of it. <laughs> I can't remember anything anymore. But anyway, I do have some that are similar intensity, but not the shades, um, not these deep, this deep blue and this deep black. But I do have the Tom Ford Shade and Illuminate face and eye palette. This is in intensity three. This is called Moss Agate. And there are some similarities uh, in the blue shades. Not a ton though. Because um, when I, sh I looked at it again, I was like, it's the only thing that I have that's even close. But I'll show you the two blues compared to one another. And that's the blue, the bright blue that's in there. And then the bright blue that's in here, if you can see, it has much more of like a gray. This is the moss agate, this is the denim. So I don't have anything that's exact for the Tom Ford. Um, the, the other shade that's in this moss agate is like a very deep, almost green, grayish blue. And then the black that's in this denim is much more of a sparkly black. Now there's also double there's also double indemnity by Tom Ford. And this doesn't have the blues, but it has a sparkly black in it. So let's take a look. That's double indemnity. They're very similar. Very, very similar actually. Let me like get a better swatch of metallic denim black. Okay, so there's metallic denim. There's double indem indemnity. I'd say they're close to being identical. So there's a dupe. This one's a little cooler. Metallic denim is a little like like the tad is cooler. Not not a ton, but those blacks are very very similar. So you, you do have a dupe for the black. The blue, I don't see it in my Tom Ford, but let's pull out Dior. This is um, Black Knight, which I think is gonna be kind of similar, and Denim. Let's pull out black. So if you haven't seen, this is the holiday Black Knight from Dior last year. Let's pull out the black sparkly shade. Um, so it doesn't have as much sparkle actually, and it's more satiny, darker shade, more satiny. And then the blue in here, yeah, definitely more deep leaning, more gray. This is the blue, and I'll, I'll double swatch it so you can see it better. This is the blue from 
the Tom Ford. So I mean, from the Tom Ford, here's the, uh, let's go over this again. So here is the blue from the metallic denim. Here is the black sparkly shade from metallic denim. Here it is from Double Indemnity. And then here's the Dior Black Knight. Here's the Dior blue shade from Black Knight. And then this is the blue shade from the shade and illuminate Moss Agate right here. And then this is the, the black shade that's in there. So these are, these two shades right here are the new ones. Those are the metallic denim. And the black is very, very similar to Double Indemnity, but this blue, none of those look like it. So let's try the denim quad from Dior, Quint from Dior. Um, the only one that I think is going to be, let's try, let's try this one. No, that looks more like the one from the shade and illuminate. Mm, let's try this one. No, nope, that one's greener. So yeah, I don't have anything exactly like the shade in Tom Ford or Dior. I'll have to take a look at some other palettes that I have, because I have a lot. Natasha Denona's blues might have something similar. Um, Wayne Goss, the blue that's in there might be similar. Olivia Palermo has a blue that might be similar. But I will say that this blue in the Tom Ford is a unique shade for the Tom Ford ones that I have. It's a grayish blue, really pretty, and I think, again, intensifies as you, um, you know, use a, a liquid application. The the black though, it is to me, I would say on the eye, definitely, a dupe uh, is in double indemnity. So overall, as I've said, I love, <laughs> I love this quad. I think it's stunning. Uh, I'm happy about the way it works. The formula is my favorite. I love the shades. I think, it, you know, it went on extremely well. I have nothing bad to say about it. It's gorgeous. I love these shades being in here because it can lighten up the look. I also think they're good transitions. I don't need a matte with it. I'm fine without the matte. And I will actually, like this shade right here, I think is going to be a great shade. I really think that's a beautiful shade for like an all over look. So I might even use like these two shades, just the brown and this black, because um, I think that would be really nice. I just think it's a really, really good quad and I'm so glad I was actually finally able to pick it up. I know it is available on Sephora, it's still available on Nordstrom. I'm not absolutely positive of that, so I wanna be careful what I say. But, uh, so hopefully you guys can pick it up if you're interested. I think you can do a light look with it too. I did a video last year about the um, Black Knight from Dior because it's a very intense look and I did a light look with it. You can absolutely go in light with these shades. You don't have to make it this intense, but I figured since I had it, why not, right? I mean, why not just really use it to its capacity? And I think it did an amazing job. So I'm off to do my Zoom calls <laughs> with my intense eye look, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Thanks so much for joining me today, guys. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you in another video really soon. Bye.